all are very nice if you are wondering about what the hell i am doing all this slurping noise and all that the idea is not to drink it idea is to as you're sucking it in hard uh that's when i'm getting most of the taste that i'm trying to capture is happening as it is actually going in i i don't know maybe i have developed in a different way a lot of people like to swirl things around in their mouth and you know keep it around for a mouth for a long time and then spit it out in my case my sensitive sensitivities have developed in the corners of my distinct and maybe the tip of my tongue so i get whatever i need to register happens very quickly for me as it is going in not not when it is inside the mouth there are others who their different parts of the tongue or different parts of the mouth would get sensitive so they maybe they feel more comfortable doing some other way for the first few years four or five years is a very uncomfortable time in the life of any taste test anybody who's trying to be a taster because it takes that long for you to even to begin to identify some of these very basic things now when i i remember i used to look with awe at people senior people who have been at it for 15 20 30 years and how easily they pick out the differences and i taste and i can't make out anything i must be stupid or will i ever be like that how long will it take me so uh, that phase is very uncomfortable because for the first 4 5 years you feel that i am not progressing i am not I'm, i'm still where i was when i started nothing much has happened then suddenly some things begin to happen <laughs> suddenly you begin to identify some taste and oh i am making some progress you know so after that it is usually a little faster after that at that time when i was tasting regularly i could i could uh, taste and i could more often than not before looking at the catalog from the taste alone i could i could say that this is very likely to to be produced from this estate so and i would probably get it right six times out of 10 and then you accumulate these memories over so many years you are seeing the same teas week in week out you are seeing the same all the gardens of the all coming through the auction system you are seeing samples of all the gardens every single day every single week so the huge amount of memory gets built into your thing at, at some stage the it all gets churned out then and you develop palate memories so towards as you, as i said when you mature and you become better and better even before you have tasted the tea already your head is telling you that this is likely to be this and the process of tasting becomes not one of identifying but of confirming that signal which i have already got from my brain you know it becomes something like that once the tea comes from the factories they come uh, to our office and uh, we are assessing the quality and based on the assessment of the quality uh, the advice goes back to the manufacturing team or the production team that these are the changes or you know whatever we feel are not working right or how we can improve the product is what we convey back as a taster this is what is going back to them and that's how and that is of course in alignment with the customer so what the customer wants to what we are getting so essentially the taster is bridging the gap between the production and the customer because he understands both the aspects of the business he understands precisely what my customer is looking for at the same time he has the skill set to advise the manufacturing team that what is it that we want what changes we need and then of course uh, and the next step is once he has seen the tea then he decides okay this tea is good for this market or where we can derive the maximum value for the tea that we have produced accordingly the taster guides okay these are the teas that for instance will go to the japan market or these are for the german market these are for the indian market right so so that that's how you know things are allocated